Hey guys, it's the Monkey, part two of the Deep Onion Default introduction. Thanks to Jimmy Bob for providing me with a, a really nice image to start the video off. I want to kind of build on what I did in the last video and show you some more kind of cool stuff. So let's launch our wallet. To start off, uh, I'm already on the default tab. I'm going to click on, it. well, actually, if you haven't already ha selected it, click on I want to register a document. We're going to click here to browse for the document. Uh, let's make sure we get the right one. Double click that. Um, we're going to now select what address we want to use. Click on here. Double click on this. And in this video we want to take the check mark out of check here to restrict file verification to the wallet containing the address above. Right. What I want to do here is I want to show you how to um, verify a document from a different wallet. Uh, so just in case I don't have it already copied, I'm going to copy this on the notepad. Yeah, I already got it there. So we're going to click on now submit request. Enter your password. Just like the last time uh, I did mention it, it costs one onion to register a document. It is free to verify a document. So we're going to click on yes. And there we go. We got the notification stating that it's been registered to the Deep Onion blockchain. And uh, at this point, I'm just going to pause the video really quickly. I'm going to load up another, uh, excuse me, another wallet. I'll be right back to show you the next step. Okay, here we are in part two of this video. Now what we're going to do after we've registered the file on the blockchain is I'm opening up a brand new, I guess what we'd call a virgin wallet. Um, we're going to click on the default tab. We're going to go to, I want to verify a document. Let's browse the file. Let's just say for the sake of argument, this file has been sent to me in an email. Double click on it. Now, along with the file, I've been given the address. So let's grab that here. Copy, we're going to go paste. So you can either select somebody from your address or you can paste here. And we're going to go submit request. And here we go. It's now checking the blockchain for that file and it's going to validate the file's integrity. So we're just going to let this go through real quick. One thing I will note, it is very, very fast. I don't know if it's going to slow down a little bit as we move forward and the blockchain grows in size. But at this point, it is very fast to verify a document. And we're just about done. There we go. Congratulations, your document is authentic and alt unaltered. So now you know that, let's say this was an executable, you know you can run it on your system safely. Um, I mean, it doesn't say that the initial person that registered didn't infect it with a virus, but assuming you trust that person, you know that it is safe. So next, what I wanted to show you guys is something a little different let's let's register let's verify another file we're going to browse for the file go back to my desktop and we'll paste that address in there again now this is a file i've not registered on the blockchain okay it's a it's a brand new file it's not actually on there so let's see what happens submit request Again, it's going to check the blockchain for the file and its integrity. And here we go. We're just about done. Okay, and here we go. Unfortunately, your document is not found in the Deep Onion blockchain. Now, I already know that this is fact because I didn't register it. Uh, but it gives you an idea uh, of what you can expect if you're trying to check a document that is either A, not on the blockchain, or B, has been altered. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm going to take about a half an hour off and I'm going to get into my weekly video. So have yourselves a great night. Take care.